So let's take a look at some of the new elevation in Caverns Deep. At the base here, we have a bunch of these brand new cave cliff pieces, and up here, we have our natural bridge pieces. Uh, so let's pull them out and take a look at what we got over here. Um, they're designed to work, be complementary to the Arenthor Mountain pieces that we have created, uh, but these are definitely slightly more cavey. So we'll start with just a straight piece. They're all double sided, so you get maximum organic effect. Uh, the backs are dead sides uh, because generally you'll be building them, like in this case, against each other in a cluster or against the back of your encounter. Uh, so we have our straight, we have this big beefy swell piece, which you can go either direction, it swells from two inches to three inches. We have this little right angle convex curve. In here. This has a dead side back here. That one's is uh, this one is texture. We have the little two by one cliff, also double sided. This is the dead side. This side's slightly more crumbled than the other side. Uh, we have this big, massive, large curve. Dead side in here. The rest of these are all textured. Uh, we have the stepped elevation block, which is not technically a cave cliff piece, but it's designed to work with them as a nice way for transitioning up and down if you want. Uh, we have these two cave riser pieces, which are also technically not cave cliff pieces, but they're once again, they're designed to work in conjunction with this to work your z-axis. Uh, they work really nicely with this elevation block. You can use that to then work your way up to a thing like you could if you want. You know, you could do something like that if you wanted to work your way up gradually. Uh, and then this piece while we're over here looking at it, this is our hollow elevation block. So it has a lid, it's removable, and you can drop down and some poor adventurer do, 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 can fall to their inexorable doom. Uh, of course, the lid you can then use for rough terrain or whatnot. Um, so those are all the core pieces. Uh, basically, they are designed to just be put end to end together, sort of how we have it here. You can, you can string them up however you want. If you have to run, if you have to put the same piece twice in a row, like such, you can flip it over so it doesn't look as repetitive. Uh, they're designed to work wonderfully well with our, with our terrain trays and our new stilts. So these are the new cave stilts. These are magnetic. Uh, they stick on here. We have, this is a Dungeon of Doom terrain tray. We're going to have brand new ones for Caverns Deep that'll have a cave stone pattern on the top. Uh, this you can just nestle right in there. Use these to dress around the sun. And then you have a whole platform you can build a whole other layer on. You could start, if you wanted to, you could use some of your trifecta ledges um, here, here, boom, like this, and start building uh, a brand new build up top here. So you could build out you build up, you build out, you can use these. Now you've got a, a huge raised area, the center's hollow, so you're not, you're not spending a ton of money to raise this whole center section. Um, your money's all invisible on the outside. Big, big cool pieces along the outside, hollow on the inside, uh, and you could build up and up from here and whatnot. So it's, it's a great way to transition up and down from any of, the, from any of your uh, terrain tray risen areas, elevated areas. Oh, and the, uh, some other fun things you can do. Uh, you can use these convex curves. You put them together, they make a nice hole. Something like. They also stack, if you want to go double high, they stack well on each other, especially because you can flip them around opposite ways so you don't repeat the same pattern. Um, you can go up and up and up. 
uh, and then you can get you can you can use your elevation blocks in lieu of stilts if you want. If you don't have stilts, boom, build up, and then from here you can just keep you can keep building. Keep building up and up so they they work really well stacked on top of each other, stacked on top of the trifecta pieces. You can just keep going. And you can the stilts. Our stilts are gonna have the stilts are gonna have metal on the bottom uh, and magnets on the top, so you can double stack them if you want. And we have 38 millimeter and 12 millimeters so you can get to you can match the height of these. So you use 38 if you need to put a ledge on there, and then you could put a 12 underneath to match the height. Um, then we also have so let's talk about this natural bridge piece. So we've got three core pieces for the natural bridge. Here we have uh, the curved arch. This is three inches long, two inches wide. Has a really nice gradual stepped curve uh, that your minis can walk their way up. Uh, it comes up to 62 millimeters high, so it's the height of a regular um, regular wall piece plus a floor underneath. Um, it would be the height of a floor plus an elevation block plus a floor. Uh, we have this middle piece is a pedestal. Uh, it's a two by two base with the sun here. What's nice is we made this flat up against one side so you could turn it 90 degrees, you could do it like this, you could come over here. Uh, it gives you a bunch of different ways you can sort of line these up. This is also 62 millimeters high. And then this one uh, is the hinged base, at, aptly named because the tip is hinged. So this lets you fold it in, flip it around, put it at a weird angle, whatever, or you can remove it if you want. We'll have a city builder peg. Um, so if you just wanted to use it up as like a stairway up, you could do that. Um, in this case, we're going to line them up here to make a cool natural bridge to walk across. Or if you want to get a really cool span, you have this big, epic six inch uh, natural bridge arch. So that's for spanning something really long, like if you wanted to go from here to there. Um, or even further. Turn this sideways. You can come in from a couple of angles if you want. Uh, these are also designed to work really well with the stairway to violence. Uh, so the base of this is 50 millimeters. It's the same height as uh, an elevation block and floor. So you, put it, so you can build up against it really nicely. Like you can throw this. Against it as such, why not? Uh, the top goes up even higher, but the base of this sits at 62 millimeters. So if you want, you can build uh, like that up against it, or slide it in like that. Uh, you can also, if you're using this flat or in a negative space build, you can go right up against it at 62 millimeters. Boom, boom. boom. Uh, it's got a flat side, so you can build off of it if you'd like. If you, uh, if you build on here, you can also build right onto the pedestal. Works in a variety of ways. Uh, and of course, if you want, you can put, you can elevate these pieces on some of the cave cliffs. If you want to go all the way to the top, and you, if you want to do some crazy span that goes all the way to the top of the stairway to violence, you of course can do that. Oh, and because this thing takes an insert, you can of course put these 
inside the stairway of violence and then build from there up and on and just use this as a crazy base. So maybe your party has to work their way up this staircase somehow. We probably have here to keep going him all the way across to a certain adventure or a certain doom as the case may be. Lots and lots of ways to go up. Usually we'll end with you going down.